everybody, Anne here, and it is a beautiful sunny day today. I'm so grateful because my solar, I've been charging things up. I've got my laptop charged, I've got my power drill charged, I got the fan charged, my battery banks charged. So this sun, I've really needed the sun lately, so bonus. But you know what? Yesterday was a weird day. I was just kind of paralyzed in fear over this snake situation and this has got to stop because the way that I look at it is I've probably got snakes all over the place and I've been walking around this place for since I've been here and not one single snake has bothered me in fact that snake wasn't bothering me it was trying to slither away so I'm gonna stop all this fear I'm gonna take precautions gonna start saving for the 410 um, but I just got to carry on with my life. I can't keep feeling fear. As far as the toilet goes, a lot of people are concerned that a snake might crawl up into it. Yeah, I think you're, you know, there's that possibility. So I may bring it inside. I may not. I can't bring it inside until I have the um, mulch bulk material um, because the leaves just don't cover up the odor well enough. I mean, it does pretty good, but still, I don't want to have any kind of potty scent inside my house at all. So what I may just do is put the little insert inside of it and then put the lid on top of that and just try and remember to take the lid off each time. Um, and if I bring it inside the house, I will, I will do the same thing too. But I did get a couple more cool things and I wanted to show you what they are. The first thing is, is this beautiful rug. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's got kind of like a high-low pattern and it fills up this whole space. Um, which is perfect. Once I get everything situated, it's going to move a little bit more this way. And I know that I'm getting a chair, so that's going to go over in this this area here. Um, and, uh, I mean, eventually I'm going to put some laminate or wood flooring down. But it is so nice to be able to come in here, take off my shoes, take off my socks, and just feel this beautiful, beautiful carpeting under my feet. And it is just wonderful, and Betty loves it. She's right there up on the bed right now, taking a nap. Uh, but most of the time during the day, especially if it gets really warm, she's down here on the floor on this carpeting. Now, I wanted to show you another thing. Remember that? That right there was my shower. Well, it is my shower no more. See that? See that down there in the bottom? That is a little kiddie pool. Now, you can inflate it. But I'm not going to inflate it because I think it will make it a little bit more rigid and I don't need it to be that way because I needed it to fit. I needed it to be able to kind of just fit it back into this spot. It gives me more area for to stand and whatnot. And here, let me, I'm going to have to put this light down. Maybe I'll just put it over here on the porta potty and that will be good enough to keep us illuminated. The shower curtain fits perfectly down into it with plenty room to spare, so it's going all the way down into the middle of it, and this solves a big problem for me. I can fit the bucket down in there with it so I don't have to keep reaching outside of the shower curtain to grab my pump. Um, I can just leave the pump in the, in the bucket while I'm showering and just grab it when I need it. So this is absolutely perfect and I can't show you because I think it's around in the back but there is a little drain in it um, so when I when I shower I usually only use maybe one or two gallons just depending if I uh, if I condition my hair I will probably use an extra half gallon or so so we're talking three gallons tops and um, I will be able to get this out the door probably even easier than that big tub uh, because this it's just going to be easy to pick up. Um, I, I just know it's going to work just great. So a little bit later today, I'm going to take me a nice little shower because I got to go into town and I don't want to be smelling like a corpse. So this is absolutely perfect. When somebody else had mentioned um, getting a kiddie pool to stand in, I thought, no, I don't think that's going to work. I really just didn't think that would work at all. Um, because I, I'm thinking about one of those little plastic ones and that would be too hard to move around and maneuver and stuff like that. I'd have to totally move my little clothes thing. So this is going to be perfect. Thank you so much. Now what am I going to do with this big old tub? Well, I could use it to plant in. That would be awesome. 
uh, just drill some holes in the bottom of it and fill it with dirt. I could put a couple, two, three pepper plants in there, maybe just two. Um, I could use it for a big laundry bin, but I don't know if I want to do that because really I just do small loads anyhow. So I've got another planting container and that makes me abundantly happy. Here is the modified water catchment system and it's taken me a couple hours to figure this out because the tarp is bigger. I just let the old one hang in there. It can help reinforce that crappy one. So I got it up pretty much in the same way and I found there was no way I was going to be able to do this and get this down into the middle of it. So I took, I used two stakes this time, which is really a better way to do it. Two stakes and I took the one out of the bathroom. It's okay. It still holds its shape pretty well. And um, stake them down, bungee them down a little bit firmer, and put the bucket underneath of it. I secured these things like this, and they're holding tight really nicely. nicely. But then this part down here, um, it just was flying up. You know, it was coming up this way. And I didn't think that there was if this was going to work, so I just got these out of my van, these little clips, and they clip pretty tight. But I don't know if they're going to clip tight enough to be able to hold if a really good gust of wind comes up. So far, there's been a slight breeze today, and it's been holding tight. So um, I don't know. I think it will work. If it doesn't work, I'll have to figure something else out to kind of secure the tarp down to the lid. I mean, I could staple it. I could, but you know what? That's gonna that might ruin the tarp a little bit. But I was also concerned that since the tarp is attached to the lid, basically, good gust of wind comes off, the lid is gonna come off too. So all I did is I put a bungee through this through the lid, and then the handle not a bungee a, a zip tie through the handle I kind of wrapped a bungee over it so this doesn't have to be permanently attached to this I can just undo the bungee and uh, you know take the lid off and do whatever so that seems to hold that pretty well in fact I might I might tighten this just a little bit there yeah that'll still give me enough room to hook the bungee in so that's what I did about that so hopefully the lid won't fly off we will see uh, I think it'll work you guys I really do um, I've got more surface area now to capture rain now some of it I know I'm gonna lose some water when it comes down here it's gonna collect here and it's just gonna come down here I might get lucky and it might go down here and it's the same with this side over here uh, my guess is that it's just gonna come and drip down through there but that's okay. I've still got plenty, plenty of surface area where it's going to be coming down in the middle and into my big old 32-gallon rain barrel. <laughs> like I said the other day, uh, I just put some twine up in between there. Nothing earth-shaking. I just wanted to make sure that my cucumbers growing in the middle had somewhere to crawl up. So hopefully that'll work. Um, if it's not strong enough, I can always reinforce it with something else, but for now, I think that that will be okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look. Do you see that? Do you know what that's in? That is in the peppermint. Oh, oh there's two. Oh, I can't see because I'm in the sun. One, two. Can you see? One there and one there. Oh my goodness. Is my peppermint finally coming up? Look at that. That is in the spinach section. Let me see if I can get a better shot of it. What do you think? Does that look like a tiny baby spinach coming up? It's definitely not lettuce. Oh my goodness, I hope it is. I really hope it is. Well, I think that's been enough of my rambling for one day. I was going to go into town, but you know what? I think I'm just going to chill out here for the rest of the day. I have to go into town tomorrow. No ifs, ands, or buts. going to take a nice shower and uh, just kind of enjoy the scenery. 
So anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.